Hi there, this is Milan of Soul Natural Wellness and Culinary Nutrition and Wellness Coach. What has been your case? Take heart that it is uh, a lot of people tend to gravitate to eating when they're bored or eating when they're uh, under emotion. So if you're bored at home, you're working on a project, um, you've just went to the grocery store, you have all this food in the house, or you are um, you know, going through some you know, transitions in your life where now it's making you feel very emotional. Uh, maybe you've lost a loved one uh, in death. You, it could be a family, friends, close to you. Uh, whatever your reason is that you're feeling bored, you know, it's a rainy day, or maybe it's in the winter season, and you're just feeling off. And the only thing that you know is you have snacks in the house. So, how do you stop eating when you're bored and how do you not be an emotional eater and the reason that this subject is really important and i wanted to share it with you if you since you guys, um if you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle if you're trying to lose weight my as a woman over 50 i can let you know right now that the older you get when you uh, transcend over the age of 40 your body starts shifting and changing and as your body starts shifting and changing you start to experience things that you didn't experience before that you are experiencing now so how do, how do you not eat when you're bored and how do you not be, continue to be an emotional eater? The first thing you need to do is rearrange certain cues. There are certain cues that will always manifest themselves that will allow you to get into a rut and you're not even being aware. You're being more mindless instead of being mindful. So this is what you can do. Think about the cues that your body sends you because your body is always sending you signals of whether it's satiated, whether it's full. Your body sends you signals when you've had enough, um, when, you're, when, you're, when you're sick. So your body is always sending you these signals. So the first thing you need to do is identify if you're really hungry, if you're really thirsty. And I know that's elementary. I'm sure you probably already know that. But have you given this in consideration? If you've already eaten, because sometimes mindless, boredom eating, emotional eating, most of the times you've already eaten. And now you're just grazing or snacking. So ask yourself, am I hungry or am I thirsty? And then ask yourself if I'm tired. Because if you're tired and if you've lost someone in, in, in death or if you helped take care of someone who was um, sick, you could be tired. And, but that will lead you to being an emotional eater. So if you're tired, do one or two things. Take a nap or um, go meditate. Uh, if you are thirsty, of course, get a drink of water. Don't go out and get some liquor or drink a glass of wine, but get a glass of water. If you are feeling anxious, take a walk. So you have to rearrange the cues when your body starts sending you these signals to know whether or not you're, um, so that you won't become a, a emotional eater, so you won't be a person who eats out of boredom. And, you know, that's really important to know because if you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle, if you're trying to um, eat in a way where you don't gain weight, where you're able to, you know, sustain your weight, you know, as a woman over, like I said, a woman over 50, a lot of the women who come to me as clients, they are women over 50. And, I understand that I, I've, I've lived my life in my 40s and I know what it's like and, and I know how my body feels now that I'm 50 versus when I was 40. So your body is always going through transitions. So in the webinar, we talked a lot about how your body goes through all these different transitions, but a lot of times when um, we think about boredom eating and emotional eating, there are so many reasons why you may eat and you may not even understand why you eat. There are so many circumstances, there are so many um, issues in life, whether it be social, environmental, um, the way you're brought up, religion, 
um, upbringing, um, education, and I don't mean education like what you studied in school, but education in terms of how you were raised. So there are so many elements that causes a person to eat, and they don't even realize why they're eating, what they're eating, why you're eating, what you're eating, why you're eating, why you eat, when you eat, why you eat, um, the types of food you eat. Um, it's all education, but there's it's a lot deeper than that. So if you haven't had an opportunity to uh, sign up for my masterclass, I've just included the link so you can catch the replay. And once you go through watching this uh, webinar, uh, the replay, you will understand exactly what that means when your body speaks to you. Um, you'll understand how to dine out elegantly uh, in a way where you can enjoy your food and not be worried about, you know, can I eat that? So if you are watching this video right now, just let me know um, what you got out of it, if you liked it. And uh, once you sign up on this master class, you will enjoy it and take lots of notes because you will get more information that you actually bar before. But it was worth your wait. Because anything that involves worth the wait and go, anything that involves your health, living a healthy lifestyle, um, you know, your weight, um, keeping it managed, you know, this webinar is highlighting so much, but it's all about self-care because the way we eat, the way we dine, the way we live, the way we are, the way we move in life, it's all about self-care, okay? And I will talk to you soon. Stay beautiful and healthy.